Welcome to the world's most important reviews, where we review generic everyday items that you might use in your daily life. Our job is to keep you informed about your daily products that you probably don't think much about. So let's get to it. Today on the table right now, we have two of the biggest chicken contenders. It is Texas chicken versus KFC. Relax, relax, calm down. They're just fried chicken. Chicken, man. They're just fried chicken. I know, but it, something in my blood is boiling. I feel so excited with you. Okay, let, let, let's just sum, let, I'll just summarize what you just said in a normal human human way, okay? Okay. Right, so we have two boxes of chicken over here, which is what, what he just said. <laughs> two boxes of fried chicken. Um, well, I ordered, I specifically asked for wings, but I'm not sure what we got this time. So uh, we'll just crack it open in a bit, all right? But before that, you obviously do your research before every video. Contrary to me, who just prefers to sit down and just talk about it. And act like an idiot. And somehow he gets all the credit. <laughs> so, can you tell us a bit about the trivia between Texas and KFC? Uh, KFC. I'm very sure you're extremely familiar with the name KFC. It's been around for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I've had my ups and downs with this brand right here. I grew up with KFC. You right? all did. Yeah. I, I, Who I, grows up with Texas? Nobody. Okay, exactly. No, yeah, nobody. So, so, so. So, what's the point of this? Yeah, the, we want, we want them to sponsor us. You can't say these kind oh. of things. Sorry. Texas, sorry for that. He'll, he'll cut it out of the video. <laughs> okay, so KFC, I mean, I've had one of some of my best meals with it, some of my worst meals. I've actually had food poisoning with this, but somehow, for some reason, I I trust KFC. I believe that it serves one some of the best fried chicken. It is most tasted. definitely, it's finger licking good. It's finger licking good. You have to lick your finger. Cleaning of surfaces. Uh, some facts about KFC. It was founded. It was actually founded in 1930. You know when Peaky Blinders was shot. 1920. 1920. It, it was found. It was founded in 1930. So at the time where Peaky Blinders was shot, this was founded. Yeah, this was founded. No fucking fighting. Good. Get the fuck in. Wow. Yeah, it was an extremely long time ago. Founded by um, the famous Colonel Sanders. I mean, who doesn't know Colonel Sanders? Who doesn't know him? Yeah, and um, interestingly enough, uh, it was not known as Kentucky Fried Chicken. What first. was it before? It was known as the Sanders Court and Cafe. But they serve fried chicken in there. Wow. Yeah, so Sanders Court. That sounds like a. It's a, a food court, basically. A yeah. I cafeteria. Think, I think it's a sort of a food court, lah. Okay, but then in 1952, they sort of upgraded that food court into their first ever franchise of KFC and the first franchise in 1930 was founded in of course Kentucky mm -hmm. but the second one was found in Salt Lake City Utah wow. yeah and it is actually the second biggest food chain in the world fast food chain in the world after McDonald's well then yeah tell us the tale about our poor boy called Texas chicken then Texas Chicken, well, it was founded around the same time as KFC, I mean the franchise, 1952 mm -hmm. as well. But the interesting fact is, it was not named Texas Chicken, it was named after the founder. So it was named Church's Chicken. And it's still known as Church's Chicken in Northern and Central America. Do you think many people know about this? I don't think so, I don't think so. Because, because Texas Chicken, well, who, who on earth would Google up Texas Chicken and read about it? Besides the two, uh, a couple of bored ass, Guys, you mean one word ass guy? I had a lot of time in the toilet, okay? <laughs> that, so that explains why I spend a lot of time in the toilet. No other explanation for that. That's seriously no other explanation. I'll I'll check your browsing history later. So let's dig in, shall we? It's good. <laughs> anyway, it's good. before we dig into this, um what is the price difference between KFC and Texas Chicken? This is more expensive actually. Really? This costed me 20 ringgit now. This is the receipt over here. Um, this cost me 20 ringgit 90 cents uh, for the same stuff. Um, we got mashed potatoes, co coleslaw, and um, a, a drink. We got a drink. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we got a drink. So Texas Chicken did not give us a drink. Uh, it, no, they did. I just put it in the fridge. You watch out. <laughs> I'm watching. Okay, wait, because today we're focusing on the chicken. So the condiments that comes with it doesn't really doesn't matter. really matter. Let's just open up these two packages. Mm. Oh, what do you think about the box though? Well, there is a super huge contrast in design here. Mm. Looking at Texas chicken, they're very, they're very extra with the way they design this. Um, well, 
But this is actually the first time that I saw KFC preparing their food in this kind of um, container. I've never seen this before. Yeah, this honestly. is this is new. I think they're, they're going for the whole go, go green look. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's working for or not. For Texas, we have... We have a lot of um, uh, visuals on the side here. It says bold taste with a twist. It's a picture of a chili here as well. On the sides, we have passionate, innovative, and uncompromising. You know, when you put these kind of daring statements on the box, you gotta make sure that the chicken actually tastes as good as it is. You have to be it. confident, proud, and adventurous yeah. with your product. Whereas KFC has not strayed away from its finger licking good. I mean, it's been finger licking good for the past, what, 100 years? Since we were born. So let's see whether it's finger licking good this time. Go ahead and open it. Okay, well, let's open both of them. Look at all these chickens. Whoa. That's a lot of fried chicken right there, my boy. Oh, you right. open the coleslaw. I didn't do that. I, I promise you I didn't do that. Are, are you serious? I'm because serious. I didn't do that. Okay, let's just pretend that it did not happen. Fried chicken. Okay, we got two pieces of wings here. Okay, KFC, listen to my request. I requested specifically for two pieces of wings and however... On the other hand... Texas chicken. I don't know whether... It, maybe it wasn't available at the time. We need to talk. Not a single wing in the box. Despite me having to make a specific modification to my order because I prefer wings I believe that they have more flavor than other but ones. it's okay because sometimes things are out of stock you know I get to understand with this pandemic a lot of people are ordering so like so it's understandable forgive it but it all boils down to which one tastes better that's all all right so that's the most important part shall we taste the KFC one first let's do this okay KFC it's like a relationship there are ups and downs with this company quite a way of pointing out all okay right. um so usually I would just Split it like that. I don't really, I'm not I'll, really a fan of wings, so I'll, I don't know how to eat this. I'll eat this part first because this, this is this is this is packed with flavor over here. Twist this open, a bit of a, a mess, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna probably clean it up anyways. Oh, of course. Okay, okay, so wings from KFC. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. It did not look appealing, but well, it tastes like KFC, the standard fried chicken that you usually get. It's delicious. Mm. Wait, 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 is this the spicy one? Yeah, this is the spicy one. Both of them are spicy because I don't really like the original um, batter that they have. It could be my tongue, but it's there not isn't spicy a at all. single hint of spiciness. This is not spicy at it's all. It's zero spice. No, if you order an original fried chicken from KFC, the only difference you'll get is the fact that you don't have these kind of like crumbs over here. It's like Let's just say that chicken. if you put this fried chicken on hot ones, the whole show will go bankrupt. Dude, this does not. This wouldn't even qualify for the hot ones. Well, well but it's, it's still good. Mm. It, it still has a KFC flavor. Yeah, it's a very standard flavor for KFC. Well, well, they have a variety of other stuff on the menus, you know. Every month they, they come up with like a new variety of yeah. fried chicken. But at KFC, you really got to up your game with your classic spicy fried chicken. Because this will be around forever. Honestly, Snatch that. Um, on the second bite, I have a hint of spice at the back of my mouth. No, on the weak. second bite. You're just weak. I am not weak. This is an honest review. I have a hint of spice. You're just weak. Okay, I'm weak. Next piece of chicken. Bapak pendirian tak ada langsung tu. Tepat weh. Texas chicken. No wings, unfortunately, but we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to taste it. Any of <sighs> Moving on! So, Texas chicken. I do not like the drumstick. I do not like both of these parts. You know what? I'm just gonna take this one. I'm Yo, assuming this is the thigh of the chicken. Am I colorblind or is this actually pretty dark? Yeah, it is, it, it is It is. darker as compared to that one. And the batter is much thicker compared to KFC. It is smells it, like is oil. It, is it a thicker piece of chicken? It's a different part of the chicken. So it we, is, we had wings. So, we, so it is thicker. It's big brain time, bro. Come on. Yeah, this is big brain time. It's a completely different part of the chicken. Stop arguing with me. Come on. Cheers. Yeah, okay. Wow. You know what? I'm just gonna take a bite. Just take me. a bite. Oh, okay. KFC, you're in big trouble. 
you're in big trouble. This is juicy. This is extremely juicy. Although it's not, there's a slight, slight spiciness to this one. It's juicy. It's, there's a more mix of flavors, isn't there? Well, I haven't had Texas in such a long time, man. Mm. I've never had chicken in Texas. I've only had burgers. The Mexicana burger, my favorite. But there is a quite a mix of flavors in here. Yo, Texas wins. Let's just end the video right now. Texas wins. Psych! We can't do that. It's not fair. We have to make a comprehensive review. That's the point of this channel. KFC. <coughs> it's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. I know you've been around for a very long time. 1930, Thomas Shelby, Peaky Blinders, all right? They probably out owned you. <laughs> A common deer this Kentucky Fried Chicken By order of the Peaky Blinders But we have to move on from the past You, I, I think they might have be, became complacent Because it's such a trusted brand, KFC is they've, become, they've become comfortable Yeah, a bit too comfortable because like they've been around for a very long time The second biggest fast food chain company in the world after McDonald's People, when they hear KFC, they're like, fried chicken, okay, you know what? It's not a bad company But then, when you put Put it side by side like this, you can actually taste the difference. Texas chicken, even though it's a fast food um, company, it's a fast food chain, somehow they are able to maintain the quality of the chicken. So do you think the design of the box completely justifies the taste? No. No. No, it doesn't. It, it's good. It's a good piece of fried chicken, but I'm guessing this is some sort of false advertising just to like so Over it's, it's basically, in a nutshell, it's good, but it's not it's not this good, basically. Well, they need people to buy their chicken anyway, anyhow, you know. So they have to put words, it's advertising, I mean. Fair enough. But so, I ain't complaining though, I mean, this is a good piece of fried chicken. Texas, you, you really surprised me. KFC versus Texas. Texas emerges as champions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. This is the random premiere. Thank you for watching. Till the talk, next time. You talk too much, man. Just eat this fried chicken, man. I swear to God. Eat fried chicken, guys. Texas. My new favorite. Sorry, KFC, but Texas is just better.